Hi guys, so before going to our topic today, help is utmost importance now or else is secondary, so stay safe. As COVID-19 is travelling globally currently, I believe many countries having a lockdown. Most of us March and April babies couldn't celebrate our birthday, including Amria here, so from here we write to wish you all happy, happy birthday, birthday and, and stay happy. happy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Before we start our video, we would like to disclaim that this video might contain spoilers. It is based on our point of view. There might be a misunderstanding and we are deeply sorry if any of it offended anyone. Hopefully everything will be better soon. But since there is so many old films to choose from, we made a decision that today's episode will be Kanojo wa Uso wa Aisuge Teiru, known as The Liar and His Lover. While many of you might know the main actor Takeru Sato that he's quite popular right now in his new drama playing as Dr. Kairi Tendo. Yeah, I know, handsome doctor, right? But for me in this film, I'm sure you guys gonna let your heartbeat burst out. Cause it just literally took my sojo heart away. Just looking at him. It's not only gonna bring back your sojo heart, it will also let you enjoy the beautiful songs throughout the whole movie. The songs are well put together and I really enjoy the song that sounds by the singers. This is a kind of movie where you feel differently in a different age. What we visualize is just looking at the screen and fangirling everything. But when we grow up, we actually listen to the dialogue more attentively. Aki was not actually just blindly lying to Rico. He was just trying to protect her future and her debut. The story starts by a band named Crook Play, which consists of four members. Sakaguchi Shun, Ogasarawa Aki, Karu Ono and Tempe Yazaki. But Aki decided to leave the band and had Shinohara Shinya replace him. Aki became a composer to his band, but his heart slowly became emptier and hollow as it felt music wasn't what he used to feel like during high school. Riko, the heroine in the story, is an innocent, young and gentle girl who has talent in both singing and playing guitar. She is the daughter of a general store owner. As she is delivering vegetables to her customer, she stumbled upon a humming sound that itself made her have goosebumps and fell in love with the stranger. They became a couple not long after. Aki might not have a lot of dialogue but he usually emphasized more on his thought for falling in love with a 16 years old girl. This is where things get interesting. First, Aki told a lie about him being a Nito and called him himself Ogasarawa Shinya. Even so, Riko believes him and promises to protect him from everything. What Aki doesn't know is Riko loved to sing and was scouted by Kurt's play producer Takaki. Where you know, drama start to happen. Ding 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 ding. Debut Omedo. Huh? Eh, <laughs> Tagagi is the only character in the whole movie that have the urge to uppercut him. Watch this and tell me, would you do the same? Press the like button if you agree. The chemistry of Aki and Riko acted by Takiru Sato and Sakuraku Ohara were very cute. They were just like manga characters coming alive. This film deserves a 5 broccolis! A must watch to those who wanted a sublime romance music theme film. I hope that this intrigues your interest toward this movie. 
It's a wrap. Don't forget to click like and the subscribe button. See you to the next video. Take care. Mwah!